back to another short and sweet where the samples are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's actually a short bottle here too, but it's it's uh, it's really sweet that Jim Beam Barreled and Box, which we paid for, sent <laughs> us the, the, this yep. old overhauled 11 year cash drink. But I guess technically our patrons paid for it by yes. supporting us. In they allowed us in a way. There's someone to, to thank. Someone to thank. So thank you for, if you're a patron, for being a patron or just watching the channel and supporting so that we can get this. We'll talk about that in a minute. Nice cork pop. Old overhaul, which I always struggle with saying that. It feels like I trip over it. Uh, cast strength. So this is 11 years old, 107.4 oh, proof. Geez. Wow, what a pour. You know, Jim Beam, who's had the old Overholtz, um Brand, label. Brand label, yeah, since uh, 1987, if I remember right, when I was uh, back in 1987, I heard that news, I remembered it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> In 2020, though, they started sort of uh, amping up the line. They did a proof increase uh, on the base um, bottle, also went from three years to four years. Mm -hmm. Then they introduced a bottle and bond, they introduced a 114, and then they also had a limited 11 year mm. that was 92.6 proof. Right, so lower than this one. This is yeah. also an 11 year. Right. But I guess they saw success with that, or were, again, like you said, revamping the line, because in 2023, they did their first annual 10 year cast strength release. That one was 121 proof. Now this one at 107.4, that's the second annual uh, release of this cast strength, 107.4 proof. So a little lower. Yeah, yeah, it came from four different warehouses and I think the rumor is that they all came from the bottom floor, but they were really loving how those barrels were maturing there mm. on the bottom floor. And they're like, hey, we're liking this. So, you know, this one's not gonna be 121, but uh, it's still cast we're strength. really liking how it goes. MSRP on this guy is 99 bucks and it was uh, barreled in 2012. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Well, somewhat of a signature beam. Peanut buttery. Nuttiness. Yeah, <laughs> peanut buttery. So their rye is a barely legal rye. It's got a good amount of corn in it. Yeah, it smells like sweet peanut oh. buttery. Yeah, Reese's. I was gonna say Reese's. No, we'll get into it. Reese's pieces or Reese's pieces, depending. <laughs> Reese's pieces. No, it's Reese's pieces. I think, but I like to it, say Reese's it pieces. Is. Uh, it's just more fun. Anyway, it has that like peanut butter, chocolate, candied smell. Mm-hmm. Great nose. It's well, this is very much up your alley. Yeah. And and um, season appropriate. We're in October. Halloween's coming up. Mm -hmm. Candy. All we right. have a Jif factory in town, and I drove by it the other day, and it smelled like this, oh, <laughs> which was nice. Nice. All right, to your health. <sighs> wow. Okay. I'm gonna need a second sip. Yeah, but the headline is. Yeah. The headline the, is. <laughs> the headline is. You can quote me on that. <laughs> um, the peanut butter. The nuttiness carries through. It is on the palate, but I think mouthfeel. Yeah, mouthfeel. Very, very silky. But the the rye of it is sort of poking through. But with that barely legal rye, it's like you, you can just tell that it's not maybe not quite a bourbon. Or I could be convinced that this is a very high rye bourbon. Mm. But I mean, you can definitely tell it's that cast strength, right? The texture. I even saw I'm getting that like that mm -hmm, heat. Mm -hmm. um, but at 107 point. Four proof, you know. I would expect that if this was the you know release from last year that was 121, but it's drinking very like warm, very hot, and not in a bad way. It's just really. I haven't had a second sip yet because that finish is just it keeps going, but I want a second sip. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, I will, uh, I will have one. But before we do, I want to okay. pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt and the uh, hoodie, Sarah, that you are wearing. Also available today. as a uh, sweatshirt. sweatshirt. My hat. Of course, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from. Our water glasses. In fact, all of our glassware. Uh, we're working on a new batch of bottle cut candles. Our Elemental Elixir cocktail syrup, which is a big, big hit at Bourbon on the Banks here most recently, Sarah. It was. It was. When you, when you try it, you can't deny it. People buy bottles. That's all I'm saying. Oh all goodness. that and more at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month and that one buck goes towards helping us get bottles like these so that we can review them and tell you whether or not you should get bottles like these and either save or help you spend that $99 in the right way. Uh, in return you also get access to events, uh, our barrel picks, and more. There you go. All right, that all important second sip, here we go. Well I guess it's my third sip, but... Wow, yeah. 
This is a bourbon drinker's rye. And yeah, the headline, I think it is that mouthfeel. It is. It's so... Mouthfeel, mouthfeel, mouthfeel. Silky and, and viscous and just all all over. Mm -hmm. I do think, like you said, it drinks more like a high rye bourbon than it does a rye. Especially, and it's all making sense now to me that uh, the 107.4 proof is drinking hotter because it is a rye. That is rye, yeah. Um, and we tend to find that proof isn't necessarily as I don't know, like as big of an issue. I don't want to say that, um, but with rise, they tend to drink a little hotter than whatever their proof is. So what I was saying before kind of makes sense to me now. Yeah, it's like it's further down on the wish list. Right. Um, it's less important to me because yeah, I don't know. I mo mostly care that it's uncut and that texture is really. Yeah, no water added to dilute the the silkiness, the mouthfeel mm -hmm. of this, which is really working. And and it's it's a nice little fire. Uh, in the chest here, fireplace. It's not, very not, cozy. A, not a bad way at all. Not at all. I don't think we got to try the uh, 121 uh, proof last mm -mm. year, but I can't imagine this at 121. I just feel like it would it would be way too much. Yeah, I agree. Too much. So I don't know. I'm I'm really actually I'm loving very pleased where with the it. proof is right here, and I want to drink more. Okay. I gotta say, we're gonna put this in the blind. Best of the year oh, contention you think so. for Rise, and I think it's got for Rise, yes. Yeah, I think it's got a a good shot. Now, when it's up against other Rise that are more Rye-ish, mm -hmm. higher in Rye content, how will it fare? That flight fight effect? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know, but I just know as a whiskey, I'm very much enjoying this. I think it's worth the ninety nine dollars. I agree. Now, if this, since it's limited, it you know you'll probably find it for more, much more. I, I don't know, I but don't know. at yeah. that ninety nine, it's perfect. I feel like it's perfect. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. um, I love the little OGD one fourteen style bottle. Yes, you do. Got it does have like some vintage flair to it, a vintage yeah. style. Yeah, still like got to find that sixteen year um, OGD. Uh oh. <sighs> but oh, <sighs> don't bemoan life. <laughs> Poor, <laughs> poor Chad. Poor me. It'll poor be me. fine. Something tells me you'll live. <laughs> I suppose. Well, I'll, I'll be happier with with this. This yes. is this is excellent. All right. There we go, that's all we can say. Um, hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Patreon. Until next time, drink more rye.